Here we have a 2010 BMW 520 diesel SE automatic in black. Starts with the offside front tyre first. Tread depth we're looking at around 5 to 6 millimetres there, it does look quite new. Offside front alloy, as you can see, a bit of a chip there on the outside edge of the alloy. Some very minor little marks on the outside edge there. And a bit of a curb there also, so maybe it requires a refurb, but nothing too bad. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork, could not spot any dinks or any dents, it does look very clean. Of course, being a dark colour, it's going to show everything under the sun, so there is quite a few light scratches to the paintwork um, that are going to require polish. A couple of stone chips to the mirror. Drive's door again, one or two light little scratches here and there. Again, not bad condition at all. A couple of touch-ins required on the door edge of the vehicle. Both the sills are in nice condition, you've got rear privacy glass. Rear passenger door again, very clean, just one or two light little marks here and there. Door edge is clean, even towards the rear end of the vehicle again, good condition. Rear tyre, not a great deal amount of tread at all there, that's going to be changing ASAP, you've got max 2 mil there. Looking at the rear alloy, no signs of any curving or scuff marks there, nice condition. Even towards the rear of the vehicle. Again, lights condition to the rear of the car, no signs of any damage. Rear parking sensors, again, lovely and tidy as we can see. No signs of any damage, like I said. A couple of scratches on the back of the tailgate require a mop and polish. Apart from that, nice and clean. Looking in the boot, just needs a bit of a valet. And obviously no spare wheel with um, the BMW, as um, they do come with run flats. Near side rear tyre, again max 2mm that we need changed in ASAP. And the near side rear alloy, lovely clean condition, no curbing or scuff marks there. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Near side of the bodywork, lovely and tidy, no dinks, dents, etc. there. Rear passenger door edge is fine, same as the front door edge. Again, just one or two light little scratches here and there, that appears to be it. As we can see down the front passenger door. Majority of them are very light, so should have no issue with them. Front quarter panel is nice and tidy, and the front tyre around 5 to 6 mil there. Some light scratches going above the arch. Looking at the front of the vehicle, you've got a scuff mark on the front quarter there. Some stone chips all along the front bumper. Front parking sensors. Again, slight little stone chips, etc., to the front. No signs of any damage. And again, just one or two light little stone chips to the bonnet. Taking a look at the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got a full black leather interior. Good condition, all your booklets, etc. there. Carpets are nice and clean. Back of the seats are tidy and no signs of any damage in the back. Door panels are also well. Looking at the driver's seat. Again, not bad condition at all. One or two little wear marks there. It's to be expected of a car of its age, partial electric seats and as you can see it's not too bad at all front passenger seats also in a reasonable condition dashboard etc is tidy steering wheel is showing some signs of age as you can see we've got auto lights and auto wipers step inside the vehicle itself just taking a look here as you can see on the electronic handbrake there the, the P sign has cracked and pretty much does fall off as we can see there so do be aware of that, it does sort of slot in nicely, etc, but do be aware of that. Turning the vehicle on, as you can see no issues at all starting the vehicle, just start first time. Um, 88,534 miles on the clock, no symbols appearing on the dash there either. We do only have one key with the vehicle, so it's just one key. Heated seats work fine, no issues at all with the blowers. Air conditioning works fine as well, so everything's in good order there. The car does come with navigation, as we can see it works perfectly fine, so no issues at all there. No problems at all with the radio, so everything functions exactly how it should. Auto transmission, quick look at the documents, V5, the car's had two owners, so two owners with the vehicle. It doesn't have an MOT certificate, but we have checked on direct gov here. Vehicles, details, etc. Expiry date 22nd of the 7th, 2015. So plenty left on that. And we are looking at a full partial franchise history. First one there at 29, 31, that was at Sitna. 36 at Sitna, 42 at Sitna. 
48 is sitting there and then non-franchise stamps. We haven't got a service there or mileage that's so around 50 and then our last service there at 62,000 miles. There we have it guys, it's the 2010 BMW 520 diesel SE automatic. Some nice spec on the car and the outside is in very nice condition. Mop and a polish here and there, a couple of refurbs, maybe two new tyres on the rear and a good looking car for its age.